gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night Whenever you're viewing this video But I do know it's Sunday, so happy Sunday Hope you, Hopefully you're relaxing and moving and shaking the way you want to, okay? It's your day off, do what you want to do, okay? And if it's not your day off, try to get some relaxing in soon. Thank you for coming to my channel. As always, I if you continue to like, share, and subscribe my to my channel and my videos, I greatly appreciate it, okay? So you know I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So thank you, thank you, thank you for always supporting me. But let's get into this story that they brought out today from a celebrity insider. Yes, Nene is on the tube again. Or she's on social media and she is flaunting, sashaying, and getting people together, okay? Uh, We got this article, for, like I said, it's a must-see video from Celebrity Insider. Uh, the author of this particular article is Ricky Mathers. She's over there slanging them out as quick as she can. Her, her, uh, well, her uh, computer allows her to get it out. <laughs> but it's all about NeNe. NeNe, Kenya Moore, and Cynthia Bailey. But we're going to get on into her title. It says NeNe Leak says she's not interested in Kenya Moore's marriage and doubles down on Cynthia Bailey having another side to her okay nini consistently says that and hopefully we will or it will be revealed regarding the many many faces of cynthia bailey okay and i'm already seeing them and i really think she's gonna be the bone carrier the shit starter the chaos dissension person among the group yes i've already tagged her in it and they didn't make it really a uh, hard to try to figure out Okay, but that's just my plot and my uh, plan that I see in action that's being taken place. So Cynthia Bailey will be seen as the person who's going between, um, what do you call it, the parties that be on the show and just dropping down dissension and chaos. And yeah, she's going to be seen as the bone carrier for this season, it seems like. Getting on to the article, it says Nene Leakes was noticeably missing from the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 premiere. The queen of Real Housewives of Atlanta will be back on episode 3 of the new season, but for now she is giving interviews as juicy as the hour-long program. My sidebar, please. Uh, I think Nene is still getting um, well, they still having damage control and she's still getting her hand tapped for uh, jumping on that cameraman and making him miss a few teeth here and there. OK, and it probably has something to do with Portia Williams and uh, the so-called allegedly um, Nene grabbing a hold of her um, coat or um, belt along her dress. Connected to her dress when she was pregnant, when we had that closet gate situation, okay? But that's just my belief, you know? People got to get, if they can't take her to court, they got to get some compensation from her. So that's probably what's the spiel. Even though she's telling us she was in negotiation contractual agreement with her current contract. She wanted more money. But however you want to take it, you want to spend it for yourself so you could digest it well, it's your world. You believe what you want to believe, okay? I'm just giving you my opinion on said topic. But going back to the article, it said, It has been rumored that Nene is gunning for Kenya Moore this season on the show. It's not hard to believe, considering Leaks was extremely upset at Cynthia Bailey and Candy Burris for inviting the mother of one to her party on season 11 finale. Now, we know Nene ain't got no right to be saying, uh, she need heads up. <laughs> I mean, baby, if you're coming, you're coming. If you're not, you're not. It just is what it is. I can't tell you who's coming. Do I need to give you a guest list of who's coming? Who's RSVP? Hell no. I invited you. I invited a whole lot of other people. Now, it's your job to either come or not come or come and disassociate yourself of who you want to mingle with and mix with. Okay? That's all I'm saying. I have for you come to my event support me like i come to yours and support you that's just my opinion i'm going back to the article okay it says the latest word on the street says that nini may have confronted the queen of twirls about her marriage is more of a business arrangement than it was about real love the most scandalous rumor is that the broadway star made contact with mark daly after the two announced their sudden divorce 
Okay. However, in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Nene claims she doesn't care enough about Kenya to do that. I'm not interested or I'm not even interested in her marriage. I wouldn't even care to get any dirt on her marriage. That's not who I am. Now, she, on the other hand, would probably care to get something on me, but I don't care about her marriage. I wish them all well. And I can do say, I don't think Nene goes out there intentionally to find dirt on people, but when people come to her about dirt on people and want to throw salt, yes, Nene fully engaged in it. Uh, she even makes her little opinions about the situation, and then she tries to casually go into a situation where she feels she needs to confront that person and put them on blast or confront them and try to be like a friend, trying to help them work through the situation if it's negative. You know, that's just Nene's M.O. It has always been her M.O. All right, because she don't need no tea. Uh, she can find out the tea herself, and usually it's brought to her face, and she has to defend herself. But do Nene, I really feel, go out there and uh, find dirt on people. No, nah, she ain't got time. But she damn sure will spread it and put her opinion on it. Now, that's just my sidebar. We're going back to the article. It says uh, she also commented on her feud with Cynthia that would surely be addressed this season up until the smoking gun recording of Candy and Cynthia allegedly colluding to have Kenya appear at the sequence party was released. The supermodel was seen as a very neutral party who appeared to be one of Nene's minions. Leaks wants people to know that Bailey isn't the angel that Barbara portrays her to be. She told Kevin Frazier, I think a lot of people over the years have felt I was the more aggressive one in our relationship or she was following me around or something to that effect. And that's not the case. Cynthia definitely has a side to her that for whatever reason, Bravo has not shown that side of her. And a, a last and final question they're always asking when they conclude their commentary. It says, do you think Nene will involve herself in Kenya's divorce drama? Hell yeah. That's what uh, Nene is all about. That's her M.O. Yes, you bring her to dirt. She finds some reverend, uh, reference in it that she wants to put her spin in. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's just like... Cream on the cake, honey. Cream on the cake. She will slice it, dice it, and lay it to the side for you to eat it, honey. Nene style. Then the other question was, do you think Cynthia isn't so innocent after all? Well, I'm going to tell you, Cynthia might have been innocent in trying to play both sides at the beginning, maybe the first four seasons. But now I think Cynthia loves to sit and, and let people underestimate her. But see, she got that smoking gun of a fiance soon to be husband, Mike, is feeding her uh, information on how she can make herself come a little bit more uh, on her feet type of standing and getting back with the girls, but in a classy way. And then Mike only going to be turning you into another messy, messy housewife that likes to start drama. Because now you're seeing, I'm seeing you in the light of you trying to be a shit starter. You're trying to throw uh, rocks at a glass house. Now you know a damn show going to break. And then you're going to try to run for cover as fast as you can. Now, Cynthia, if you're going to do your shit, do your shit correctly. Make it authentically. Uh, authentically that is coming from you and not somebody else that's trying to put, how they say, batteries in your backpack. Okay, baby, come on. Give us what you got to give. If you're going to give it to us, go on give it to us on season 12, okay? Rock your world, but don't let Mike be telling you and feeding you lines that you need to do so you become uh, more of a stand-up type of woman now that you can uh, get these women together. In your own way. Now, nah, nah, we already see through it. We know what's Cynthia. We know what's might feeding Cynthia. Okay. But that's all I have for this uh, particular commentary. The story that Celebrity Insider brought out. And I graced it on my channel. Yes, I did. And gave my opinions. Now it's time for you to tell me what you thought about the subject matter. Do you agree with how Cynthia's being portrayed? Do you agree that Nene really don't want to come for Kenya? But hey, if it has to be, it has to be. Okay? Because we know those two are the most drama-filled women. They love their camera time. And they love to be reigning as queen of something. Okay? It's always self-proclamation. It ain't nobody on Bravo trying to say, oh, no, she is our queen. We will give her as much airtime as we choose to. We deem so. No, nah, they want drama to come from each and every last employee on their page, uh, on their um, 
a roster, okay? They expect a certain amount of energy, negative, and they want it filled, drama filled, okay? That's what they're signing up for. They can always say, uh-uh, I'm in the cast. They can always say, I'm not going to do this. I'm tired of doing this bullshit. This is not me. I want to betray how I really am in life, how I really get down in life, and I, I just can't get with the setup and the script and shit. That's what they need to say, but you know, hey, they love the lifestyle they live in. They sign up. They don't know about to force them with no gun to their head and say, you're going to sign up. You're going to give me this, that, and the third. No, they like their lifestyle. They like their platform, and they like being noticed, okay? So, you get what you give in a sense. So, if they get a lot of negativity coming to their doorstep, they signed up for it. Only thing I say, keep putting on them thick layers of skin and keep rocking and rolling and making your money if you choose to do it this way. Okay? Because there's several professional jobs out there that you can do. You can go to school, get a professional career, and just be happy. But, as we can see, Phaedra Parks is all out there. She's a, a recognized lawyer, entertainer, entertainment attorney. She definitely is a, a I think, a mortuary, not mortuary, but a, a, what do you call them, folks? Um, a mortician. She's certified and licensed. And, yet she ain't doing shit out there. I ain't seeing her cracking no cases. I ain't seeing her winning no cases. I ain't seeing her uh, advertising her new funeral business. I don't know what Fraser's doing out there, but looking like a thought. Every time you see her, she's showing her butt, her ass, whatever. And I'm like, damn, Phaedra, I know you a PK kid, meaning a preacher's kid, but dog, girl, can you pull up? Can you get back to your professional professional careers that you wasted money and went to school for, but yet you going around here trying to be on reality shows? I still have yet to see you on marriage boot camp. If anybody know uh, how they start taping, um, is she on the show or have they delayed the show? I mean, what's going on? Cause I sure ain't seen no promos. It was talk about it, but I haven't seen no promos saying, you know, watching that episode. He, here is the guest lineup for the new season. Phaedra Paws and Medina Islam or whatever his name is. I mean, I want to know. I want to uh, cover it. I want to get her some press, okay? But right now, I'm just tired of seeing her out there, you know, portraying her figure her uh trying to be out there for people to catch her maybe she has her own photographer uh following her taking photos and then she's leaking them to the press okay i don't know what it is what's going on with miss page first she wanted to be a politician a long time ago when she was on real house wise of atlanta but I'm like, honey, they ain't going to bring you back. I wish they would. It'd be so much drama filled there between you and Candy. Cause I know Candy ain't going to leave no show. She might talk that shit, but uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta is a check she can count on for right now. That bedroom candy, people can start saying they don't want to play in sex toys no more. They can just discard that. And then what she got? What a steady paycheck coming in? Or her other ventures like tags or clothing stores. People might not have the money to go out there. They might have to just continue to wear what they got and repair. You know, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying out there? Because it's getting hard. And it's, uh, it's right, coming around the uh, Christmas time season now, the holiday season. People losing their jobs because the uh, big companies, they want to make that. Uh, they want to have their ending report for the year to be in the black, not in the red. So they're going to do what they got to do. And then they'll probably start hiring back in January, February, March other people that they let go around the holidays if they deem them necessary to come back. You see what I'm saying? So really, the only thing these these women got on this platform is Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's a state of paycheck. It's a nice-ass paycheck. Whether you're getting paid 500000 a year or you're getting paid some millions out there. It's all good money. But how you making it? Is it good? You know, so it's just a toss of the coin. However, there's consequences to everything. Okay, even me up here, you know, spread my opinion on this salacious gossip. Okay, but it just is what it is. Okay, make your money. However, just make it legal. <laughs> okay, don't make no illegal stuff because they're going to give you some time behind some bars. Okay, and we ain't got time for that kind of mess. All right, but I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care of yourselves and be ready for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12, episode 2, as well as Merit, merit to Medicine because you know I'm going to be on it. I'm going to be on it, doggone it. And I need my supporters over here chiming in, telling me what they thought. Or if they don't want to do that, they can always hit that subscribe button and share my videos. Okay? Y'all be good. Bye-bye.